Hey guys, last week we decided to head down to Orange Beach, Alabama for a family vacation. We had been to um, the seaside area three years ago and then um, Santa Rosa Beach, which is pretty close to Dustin, two years ago. So I got a lot of messages about people wondering um, which one I liked more and so I decided to make a video about it. So the reason we decided on Orange Beach and was because Florida, when we had planned it, Florida had not fully opened up yet. And it was just kind of, um, it was just easier to go to Alabama and it's about an hour and a half closer to us anyway. I'm just gonna compare the Orange Beach Gulf Shores area to basically all of the 30A area. So specifically we stayed at Seagrove Beach, which is right next to Seaside. I mean, it was like a five minute walk. Um, but really a lot of that area is basically the same. So when I say seaside, I'm just referring to all those little towns like Watercolor, Rosemary Beach, all those little towns that are, um, you know, just grouped right there together on 30A. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about the actual beach conditions. So the beach definitely was better at seaside. So the water was a lot more blue a little bit more clear. Um, Orange Beach wasn't bad by any means. I mean, it was beautiful. It was just a little bit more green um, and the sand was so much better at Seaside. I will say that it was a little bit more wider and it was definitely cleaner. So Orange Beach had a lot of um, stuff wash up on the actual sand. And um, one thing that I <laughs> really did not like about Orange Beach was the amount of trash I found on the sand. So one night we were out um, crab hunting on the beach at Orange Beach and um, we're walking around, you know, it's dark, we have flashlights and there is a glass beer bottle just laying in the sand and I'm just like, if my children had a stepped on that, it was just gross. So also Orange Beach though, I will say one out on the amount of seashells there. So my little girl Willow loves to hunt for seashells and there were just tons everywhere, like big, big intact ones. At Seaside, we didn't really find a whole lot of like big ones or intact ones, a lot of broken little ones. Um, so Orange Beach definitely was better for the seashell hunting. Okay, so for price, Orange Beach definitely beat out Seaside on price. Um, so our number one priority was to stay on the water, so on the beach. Um, when we stayed at Seagrove uh, three years ago, it was about a 10 minute walk at least to the beach. Um, and we had to cross a highway and it was just, it was a whole thing and it's a lot of work, especially when you have kids and you're carrying not only your stuff, but also your kids things. We wanted to stay on the beach and we found a condo. It was like a minute walk to the beach it, it was fantastic. We were just right there, walked down the sidewalk to the beach. So I will say, um, if you are looking at staying on the beach in Seaside, and I did research, I just looked at Airbnb before this video just to kind of educate myself a bit more. I will say if you're planning on staying on the beach at Seaside, you're going to plan on spending about $1,000 more for the week. So, um, kind of depends on what is more important to you in that regard. Um, I will say I did like Orange Beach because of that for sure. Okay, so for the amount of things to do, um... We are really just kind of hanging out beach pool people, so it wasn't super important to us. Um, but if you definitely like to do a lot of things when you're on your beach vacation, I would say probably your best bet would be to stay on 30A. And then that way you have, um, you know, Destin right there. Destin has a ton of things to do. So Orange Beach, I mean, wasn't bad at all. Now, we were right across the road from a place called Adventureland, which had go-karts and mini golf and carnival rides, um, had laser tag, bumper boats. It had a lot of stuff to do and had an, a big arcade. Um, so we took the kids there for the day and that was just a fun thing to do, just something different. Um, but I would say if you like to do a lot of things, probably 30A is your best bet. Also though, if you like to ride bikes, Seaside is definitely going to be for you because I will get to it in a little bit, but because of the traffic, um, it's a lot easier to walk or ride a bike in Seaside and there's places that rent bikes everywhere. And that's just kind of like the culture at Seaside. 
we really enjoy just riding our bikes down to the food truck area and just exploring. So that was one thing that I really did enjoy about Seaside. So one thing we enjoy doing on our beach vacation is going crab hunting at night at least once during the week. Um, I enjoy it, the kids enjoy it, and I will say we hunted um, two nights at Orange Beach and the only thing we could find were those kind of nasty gross like sand fleas that you find in the water. Um, they're pretty gross looking. Um, they're not cute like the crabs are. So, and I did some research. At Orange Beach, they groom the sand every morning and crabs do not like that. So there were, we didn't find any crabs. We found a crab in the parking lot um, of a souvenir shop. He was a pretty, pretty big guy. He was like this big. Um, but when we were hunting at night on the sand, we didn't find any. When we were at Seaside, um, we found them super easy. They were all over the sand. So, I mean, it's not probably a huge deal on the crab hunting on your beach vacation, but something to consider if you like to do it. For the actual like area community, I would say if it's important to you, Seaside is definitely cuter. It's very well planned out. The architecture is really beautiful. Um, the colors are really pretty. So for me being a photographer, that's kind of important to me. Um, you know, just the overall like cuteness of it. There's a lot of places for photo ops and I just really enjoyed that aspect. Orange Beach is not that cute. I mean, it's just kind of a typical beach town. I don't know, a lot of you know, souvenir shops and I don't know. So anyway, I will say like Seaside, Seagrove, Watercolor, all of those places, they have more of a community feel um, compared to like a bigger city feel. Also, Orange Beach has a lot of like big hotels, big condo buildings compared to Seaside that has more of the smaller townhomes and beach homes. So you kind of get a different feeling that way. And of course, Destin has a lot of, you know, the same hotels and big condos, so. Okay, so a big one for us is food. So I would say Seaside has a lot more cute little eateries. Um, they have a ton of little restaurants and you can go to Destin, um, you know, and you can eat on the water. Orange Beach had a lot of fast food, a lot of chains. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just think the food is a little bit better in Seaside, but I also think you're gonna pay more for the food in Seaside too, so. But I do have recommendations on food because it's kind of a big thing for us. Um, so if you're staying on 38, it is definitely worth the drive to go to Grayton Beach and eat at a place called the Chanticleer Eatery. Mm, it's so good. So we've eaten there twice and um, the crab claws are phenomenal and then also, for dessert, get the chocolate chip cookies. It's so good. And then on Orange Beach, the best pizza I've literally ever eaten came from Marco's. So if you're, and it's actually in Gulf Shores, so, but they'll deliver to either one. If you go to Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, definitely order pizza from there for sure. Oh, also Seaside has a really cute food truck area. Um, I think we went there two or three times. Okay, and the traffic. I would say seaside traffic is definitely worse. That's why people bike everywhere and walk everywhere. Um, it's kind of a pain to drive places to go get food or whatever. It's just way easier to walk or to ride your bike. Orange Beach traffic wasn't bad at all um, until we got closer to the weekend and then you started noticing it picking up. So I'd say Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Orange Beach traffic was worse, um, but during the week it wasn't bad at all. Seaside, it's bad every day. So, okay guys, so that's my comparison on Orange Beach versus 30A. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. We are planning our trip for next summer and um, I think everybody in my family is kind of leaning more towards Orange Beach and I'm, I, I kind of prefer Seaside more, just, you know, I like, I like the cuteness of it, honestly. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts if you want to put them in the comments on where you've stayed before, what you like about it. 